to Hasu and Thaichit. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube easily. Let me tell you the basic rules of a Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube has six faces. Each face has one centerpiece, four side pieces, which have two sides, and four corner pieces, which have three sides. Let me show you the cube rotations. This is front clockwise, and this is front eye counterclockwise, which means front counterclockwise. This is U clockwise, UI counterclockwise. Back clockwise, back I counterclockwise. R clockwise, RI counterclockwise. Left clockwise, left eye counterclockwise. Down clockwise and down counterclockwise. I means inverse or counterclockwise. So since you now know the basics, let's get started. Let me scramble this first. We're going to find the white center and put it up. Now let's start solving the cube. Step one, white cross. We're going to find an edge piece, which is right here, white, orange. So we're going to find where the white, orange center piece is. It is right here. How are we going to move this right there, up here? We are going to rotate this and put this up. Then we're going to rotate it back to its place. Now we have one edge piece and these two matching up. So now here is another side piece, white, green. So this, we're, we're going to find the white, green, centerpiece and move it there. So this is not where the green centerpiece is. So we're going to just rotate this, go up and just turn this back. Now we have orange, orange and green, green. Now let me find another one right there. We're going to match this up to the blue and just turn this like that. Now we're going to find another one right there. We're going to match this up to the red and we're going to take these two and move it this way. Then we're going to put this up like that. Then we're going to move it back to its place. Then we're just going to turn this. So now we have the white cross and we have these set up. Step two. Now that we have the white cross, we'll set its corners. Let's find a corner right here. This corner has white, green, and orange. We'll find where the white, green, and orange is right there. So we'll set the white here, the orange here, because it's matching the orange center, and the green here. So the formula for that is face, down, and face, inverse. Now we have it up here with these two matching. Now let's find another one. Right here, this has a white, an orange, and a blue. It's already, we're already there. So we're going to do the same thing. Face down and face inverse. Now we have orange here and blue here, also the white here. 
Now let's find another one right there. Virgna, this one has red and blue and white. So we're going to find where it is right there. So now this is slightly different than the other formula. The thing is right here. So the formula is right inverse, down inverse, and right. Now we have it up here with these two matching. Now our last side, right. The thing is right here. Now you can see that this is slightly different than the other two formulas. So we're going to have to bring this down. So here is the formula for that. Front, down, and front inverts. So now this is down, we're gonna find, we're gonna match it up right there. So now let's do the first formula. Now we solve the white corners and each white corner matched with their centerpieces. So it looks like a T. Now let's move on to step three, solving the second layer. So there are two formulas to solve the second layer. First, let's match them up like red goes with red and we're gonna put this right here because there's a blue here and we're gonna match it with the blue. So the formula for that is UI, LI, U, L, U, F, UI, FI. Now these two are in their positions. Now let's find another one. This one is already matched because green and goes right here and red goes here. So the formula for that is U R U I R I U face I U face. Now these two are matching to their set pieces. So now let's find another one right there. So we're going to bring this right here because there's an orange up here. The formula for that is the first one. So let's do that. UI, LI, U, L, U, face, UI, face I. Now, these two are matching to their centerpieces. The whole second layer is done. If you're still not done with the second layer, then keep doing those formulas. If this is the case that both of these are in an opposite direction, you will have to do the same formula on the left side two times. Let's do it. One more time. But this time we will have to line it up. And now it is fixed. Now let's move to step four, the yellow cross. So the yellow centerpiece is right here. So if this yellow centerpiece is alone, we do this formula. Face, U, R, U, I, R, I, face, I. Now, if it's like this, we're going to turn it like this. So it's like this. Apply the same formula, formula until you see the yellow cross. Face, U, 
R U I R I face I again face U R U I R I face I now we got the yellow cross now let's set all the yellows at the top layer so we're going to move this this way so that this solved piece is on this side and do this formula. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, U, R, I. If you need to, if it's still not solved, you can do it again. Now let's turn this to match their corners with their respective colors so that each corner is in its right place. So now we'll put this in the back because this is already solved. If corners are not matched, do the formula in the, in the description below. Now let's fix the center pieces. Let's do this formula. F, F, U, L, R inverse, F, F, L inverse, R, U, F, I, F, I. So now it's still not solved, so let's do it again. F, F, U, L, R, I, F, F, L, I, R, U, F, I, F, I. Now the whole entire cube is solved. This is how you solve a Rubik's Cube. Thanks for watching my video. For more updates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!